God gave us all like some type of talent. He gave us all gifts. Find them gifts. For anybody that's going to start a company, uh, a business, obviously you're gonna have to have customers, right? You know, the one thing that, that I'm afraid of is not maximizing the potential that I have on earth. What's more important? Is it the journey or is it the destination? Oh. <laughs> All right. So it, it's like 7.45 a.m. I'm just getting here. Look, everything is it's still dark. The lights isn't on. I come into my shop and this hasn't happened in over a freaking year. Somehow, like, look, I put all of this stuff around here because they were sneaking in dogs or whatever and shitting on the lawn, right? And I don't know how they were able to infiltrate this. Somehow, some way, they were, they were able to infiltrate it and also get out. Okay, it had to be a small animal. Um, but look, I'm super, super annoyed because I don't like animals, first thing. And I don't like shit on my lawn. So I have to figure this out again. What's up guys? Today is August 2nd, 2024. It's Friday, 7.55 a.m. And, whoo, man. Another day, baby, another day. 91 days until launch, okay? We're on a countdown, 91 days. I hope you continue to follow this journey. And I think now, and I might run out of questions to ask you guys, but I wanna ask you a, a quick question, like what's more important? Is it the journey or is it the destination, you know? And ask yourself that, right? Because if you have ever did something and you grinded it out, you grinded it out, you grinded it out, then you got to the destination, you would know that the destination does not feel like you always thought it was gonna feel, right? Where you think that you go through this process, you work, and then you get to this point, and then everything, the, the, the gates of heaven doors open up. Doesn't work like that. I actually enjoy this process right here, the building process. Like, I, I'm in love with this process. Whenever we exit all dreams, I will probably build something else because I love this process. I love the learning process. I love the failing process. I love the small success processes where you start from nothing and then it starts to work. Then it goes down and you fail again and you have to, you have to pivot. I love that process. So what do you love? Do you love the journey or do you love the so-called destination? Because if you haven't got to the destination that you always aspire to get to, you don't even know how that feels. I know how it feels to grind on basketball, grind on basketball, just dreaming. But then when I got to be a pro, it was not what I thought it was going to be. It, it actually made me fall out of love with basketball. 
okay? Always embrace the early stages because this is the funnest time. This is the funnest time and you're becoming something every single day that you're building. You're taking steps, you're becoming something, you're molding something in you. And you might get tired of hearing this, but that's where the hero story comes into play is because most people, they just think the destination and then they'll be like, oh, I'm good. I'm a changed person. I can do this, this and that, and that's going to fulfill me. But most people that think that they're doing those things only in validation of something else. They're trying to validate themselves. And most people, are, that's what they're trying to get money for so they can validate themselves because they believe the money will validate them. The jewelry will validate them. The car will validate them. The house will validate them. But it's, a, it's so much emptiness when you don't know yourself and you don't build yourself along that journey to get to the so-called destination. Wherever, whatever that may be for you, okay? Um, think about that, because I'm in love with the journey. You should be too, because these are the best times. Building brick by brick by brick. So I'm gonna get to work. So, yo, hold on, so. It's this, it's uh, like, it's this cat, right? He's in bad shape, man. He's in bad shape, he's a white cat. The people in this apartment complex started feeding this cat before I even came back. So by the time I came back, this cat already lived on the doorstep, but he's in bad shape. And he's, he's the one that's sneaking in here, right? I just caught him and he thinks we're friends. I don't like animals. I don't like this cat. I, I have to figure this out. So I got these ties and I'm gonna try to secure the border as Kamala should, should have been securing the border more. But I'm gonna secure the border more. And hopefully that helps out and keeps this guy out because I had to work out out here, man. I don't want shit on the grass, man. All right. going on guys it is 10 26 a.m and i want to show you guys what i've been working on today um for anybody that's going to start a company uh a business obviously you're going to have to have customers right so one of the things that i'm doing i'm in the process of doing customer discovery okay and that's discovering who my customers are and am I solving a big enough problem for them to give me money to solve that problem, okay? So I'm doing customer discovery. Is the pain that they have for what I want to solve big enough for them to exchange their money to me? in order for me to solve their problem. So one of the things that I do is this right here. I do a Google form and a survey for customer discovery, okay? Um, and you should do this as well. So this is a, a simple, simple Google form. And this survey, look, survey for parents of child ages, I'm sorry, survey for parents of child athletes ages 6 to 17 okay and what i did is i just did a simple 10 question survey and i want to get to the bottom of this survey because this is important right this will give you a direct answer 
of what people think about you solving their problem, okay? So for us, it works like this. How much would you pay per year for a platform that was dedicated for your child athlete and did all of these things in one place, okay? So these are all of the things that we do, right? We're all in one, we're all in one platform dedicated for child athletes or amateur athletes, okay? I'm just using child athletes, but we go by amateur athletes. So what this is, what I did with the pricing, would they pay $100 a month for this, okay? Would they pay $100 a month or $1,200 per year? Would they pay $50 a month or $600 per year? Would they pay $300 or $25 per month per se? $120, $120 per year or $10 per month? And if this was a limited offer, would you sign your child athlete on this platform today? This is a crucial question, okay? Because here's the thing. We are cheaper than all of these things, okay? So if they said here, the many said here, they would pay that much, or they said here, on the survey, we'll know exactly, right, um, where we are as far as pricing. And our price is cheaper than this right here. Our price is actually $7.99 per month or $75 per year. So, um, and here, this is a, a a good question to ask as well. Around how much do you spend on sports per year for your child? So, if somebody is spending a thousand dollars, you can gain. You can see that that's a, a pretty big investment, or whatever. Two thousand dollars. That's an even bigger investment. So again, I'm just showing you exactly what I'm doing, and this is a this is a good thing for you to do as well. Because you want to figure out who your customers are and will they pay for your solution to the problem that you want to solve for them. Okay? So, free game. Peace. The first thing that was on my mind today, and it's like a question to you, okay? Like the people that may watch this video. And the question is like, what do you really want? Like, that's a, that's, it's a serious question. And it's the reason why I ask that. Because most people really don't know what they really, really want. I want to show y'all something right real fast. Because I'm about to leave and go train. And um, go for a walk. And I want to show y'all something because I need to... This is something that I do every single week, okay? Something that I do every single week, and one thing is I love to do this every single week, especially because it's so cheap, right? So when I left Atlanta, when I left Atlanta, I was going weekly to get a haircut, and when I was going, it was like $35. I popped back into Atlanta some time ago. It was forty dollars. So this is a weekly cost. Weekly cost because I like to have my. I like to be you know groomed well. And um, now, in comparison, let me show you real fast. This right here is Diez Mil Peso. This right here is Cinco mil peso so my haircut in a barrio costs 15 mil peso you can do the conversion but it's probably like close to four bucks <laughs> it's close to four dollars in every single and, and he does a good job like he does a really good job he cuts my hair very very well so it's not like i'm getting better services i was paying forty dollars a month like everyone's paying at least fifty dollars for haircuts now in Atlanta, fifty to a hundred dollars um but it's not like i'm getting a lack of service for quince mil pesos 
and honestly, I feel like I, I like I try to give them tips because I think I feel like I'm robbing them. <laughs> for real, for real. Like I really do. I feel like I'm like, yo, I'm robbing you, bro. Like, but I love to pay quince mil pesos, and that, that's just one of the things, right? You know, one of the things, one of the advantages is things like that that I look towards. Is like the small things just add up so much, you know. Like food maybe cost me like eight bucks a day. If I want to go somewhere nice, 12, 13 bucks. Um, my transportation, like literally, at some point I'm gonna buy a moto. I'm gonna buy my own motorcycle. But I ride motos, it's like a, a dollar to get where I need to go. Um, and what, I, like, for what I'm doing, I need that right now. Like, I don't need to be racking up, let's say, $50, $200 a month on haircuts, right? I don't need that. I don't need to be racking up on food. Eight hundred to a thousand dollars on food, much less if I go out out on dates or anything like that. Like it just small miscellaneous things, all of it adds up, and I just don't need that. I, I just don't need it in my life. Like, and just going back to like what I really want is like a, just a delayed gratification that I'm doing or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna go over and see if I get my appointment or whatever. So. I can pay my can't say no peso to get my hair cut. And I was looking at my hair, I'm like, yo, it don't even really need to get cut, but it's four bucks. <laughs> man, what you think, man? Phew. Love it. Love it. Keep me nice and fresh. So my day is over, man. I'm about to find something to get into. It's still early, it's like 2.58, so. I don't know, but. but feel good though. 5.55, finna head out. Waiting on my mocho so I can run, grab something to eat. Um, man, it's been a great day. Uh, I wonder what you guys are doing. Yo, man, listen. Yo, even though, like, I'm not getting a lot of views, like, the, the views that I'm getting are the people that I want to view my content. Um, like, today I had a comment from a guy that sold everything. This was on a video where uh, I was talking about no competition. And um, this guy like literally sold everything, house, cars, everything. And then bought a yacht, 45 foot he said, sailed, went to Panama and just stayed in Panama. Started a business in Pan Panama, his friends and family. Like, yo, what are you, yo, like, what's going on? These are the stories that I love to hear, you know, people that just, man, like, just go out and just do the thing that they really want to do, no matter what people have to say, you know? And um, these are the stories that I want to hear, and these are the people that I want to be a part of my community. So, man, if you watch this video, man, reach out to me, man. We'd love to talk to you if I'm ever in Panama. We'd love to check out your yacht, man. And you said you're going to start a business here in Colombia. Would love to know where. All right, man. So my moto's over here, and um, yeah, I'm about to be. Yeah, uh, there you go, right there. Just want to take it all in. Just want to take it all in. The sunset behind me. You know. Man, it's still Friday, guys. And I want to show you guys something. Just 
look. I don't know if you can see, but it's just like people lined up. This is a wall city right here. And it's people all over on these walls. Just, they come, come out just to watch the sunset. I do it also. Um, it's beautiful. Look at it. It's beautiful. Weather is beautiful, you know. Um, I do this to the to my back, with my back to the, and then also you have have this view over here, right? Um, you know the one thing that that I'm afraid of is not maximizing the potential that I have on earth. And I'm not sure if any of you guys feel the same way, you know? Um, imagine God gives you talent, just like to do certain things, whether it be athletic, cre uh, creativity, a high IQ, and you just don't maximize that potential throughout your life for whatever reason. I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid of not, maximi not, not maximizing my potential as a father, as a son, as a business person as a person of impact on the earth and not maximizing my potential in adding value to the world you know and when i look at things like 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 this you know i look at i just look at the world and the sun and this ocean I'm like, man, we've been granted such a, a great opportunity in our life, with life in general, to do something to add on to the earth. And so many people don't even think that deep. Like, yo, I'm not here just to gain. I'm here to add to the world it's just something to think about you know what i mean like like it's just it's just it's just something to think about it just had crossed my mind that's the only reason i'm saying something about it is because like when you think short term like you really don't think about adding on to the earth you just think about now 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 like what would your legacy be like for real for real like for real like what legacy will you have on this planet it's something to think about it's something to think about when you die do you just vanish you know i'm leaving my mark on this world that's what i set out to do and that's what i'm going to do I'm trying to maximize my potential in every way that I can possibly maximize it. I'm trying to max out. That's, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to max out. And I hope you are too. Because we get one time through this thing, man. Once. It's no redos. And I suggest people, my fellas, whoever's watching me, I suggest we all take that serious and try to really leave our mark on this world. Max out. With it in whatever your whatever your talent is. Yo, God gave us all like some type of talent. He gave us all gifts. Find them gifts and utilize them. Utilize them for good in the world. If you can talk well, utilize that gift. If you're beautiful, just utilize that gift. If you're athletic, utilize that gift. 
so many gifts that we all have. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's Friday and look at that. Look at that. It's going down. Beautiful. All right, guys, man. Happy Friday, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, it's 91 days left. Sorry, I'm trying not to fall. That's why I'm not looking at the camera. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yo, uh, it's 91 days before launch, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great weekend. Have a great Friday. Be safe. Peace.